All right, guys, we are following the dopamine, as in we're gonna make a bunch of beanies, like, right now. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna make some beanies. First, I'm gonna show you the one that it's already complete. So a family friend wanted the African-American flag colors. If you didn't know there was an African-American flag, now you do. It is black, red, and green. So they made him a little beanie for his head. He's going to love it, So which is awesome. You guys have already seen my fall crochet blog. If not, I'm going to put it somewhere here. You need to go watch it. It's so fun, so happy, so chill. But this one's for myself. I love this. Made this with a scrap yarn cake I created. Another hat I made with a scrap yarn cake is my winter beanie. Also for myself, love the colors. Super, super cute. This brim is not big enough. Hold on. I like big brims. I cannot lie. Um, this one's super cute. Love this. Okay, so for other people so far, we, we have this one complete. So we're going to have a little beanie counter somewhere. We'll put it somewhere. So beanie number one is done. Now I'm working on a tutorial for beanies right now. When this video is posted, the tutorial should already be done, so I'll link it somewhere. Description, 100%. So I'm making this green beanie for it, so i um, working on this right now. Yeah, tutorial, free tutorial, free pattern. I want to make a free blog post for it too, so we'll see how that goes. If it's there, I'll link it, but yes. I love making beanies. When I said following the dopamine, I'm following the joy that I find when I make these beanies. So... Backstory, my sister wants like 10 beanies for her co-workers. Um, basically, they, they're in and out of the freezer a lot where they work. So she was like, hey, how much will it cost for me to make some beanies? I was like, girl, they're going to be good at gratis. If you haven't watched Porn Here's a Who, go watch it. It means free in Spanish, I think. It does. So I'm like, I got you. So I have a list of colors. And now I was like, okay, what do you want? It's like solid. She's like, no, I like it how it's multicolored like the other ones. So I'm making, I'm going to make them all multicolored colors of the colors that she asked for. Say that three times fast. I bet you can't. So we're on green right now, which is also going to be my tutorial beanie. So getting two things done at once. As I make this other YouTube video, your girl is on fire. I know. Thank you. So we're going to work on this and then we're going to keep going and make beanies until my little not so small hands fall off and I cannot wait next the dopamine thing will be probably embroidery we'll see I also want to make an outfit for my crew's coming up I have so many ideas and I cannot stop okay see you guys later is it recording it's recording if you hear rain I'm so sorry the camper is shaking it's raining outside but I finished beanie number two we're gonna up that beanie counter to two but not just two I just sewed in the ends for my black beanie. So, oh wait, did I miss one? I don't know. Anyway, that's beanie number three. So we're gonna up that beanie counter to three. I'm working on my next one right now. It's gonna be a blue beanie. I'm gonna be making two blue beanies. I'm so excited. <laughs> So now I'm going to make a blue beanie using this winter scrap yarn cake I created. Let's see the progress. So I started working on this on my birthday and I have not picked it up since. It's been almost a week. But look at this beautiful white and blue gradient. I'm loving it. Only have this much left. Hopefully I will make it to the end. If not, I have to add some more um, white or other colors in. And yeah, working on the first blue beanie. So hopefully that is on me i'm working on finishing up um gonna space my brain um <laughs> sewing up the sides for this beanie i'm on my last row i just finished editing tonight the beanie pattern so that should be up obviously before this video is even up i'm excited about that gotta get some cute shots of me wearing beanies so that i can upload that but look at this it's turning out so good i'm gonna sew this part up and then Whew, gonna do the pom pom and then on to the next beanie. But just so wanted to do a little bit crocheting for the video because I feel like it's so easy to not crochet for the video and just show you guys the beanies and be done. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna do a little bit. Goodness gracious. Had to add some white because the skein of yarn that I made ran out, which is fine. Luckily, there was already some off white in it, so I just added some more. And yeah, it's turning out super cute. I think I might do the pom-pom white. Yeah. 
we'll do that. And yes, I did get my hair cut off. <laughs> so let's kill three birds with one stone. Isn't that usually two? Okay, well, it's three today. So here's a little, um, little long versions, or short versions of me um, tying up the top or sewing up the top and making the pom-pom. So the pom-pom turned out amazing. Now to put it on the hat. Look how adorable and cute and fluffy and round this is. Like how satisfying is that? Like <laughs> So we are done with yet another beanie. Look at these blues and the white and the pom-pom. <sighs> so cute. Go ahead that beanie counter wherever that is and see how many beanies we're at. On to the next blue beanie. And this video is sponsored by me. This is Queen Crochet. My name is Priscilla and I make colorful crochet, boho and hippie crochet patterns. I think I said crochet way too many times there. But yes, a lot of them are size inclusive and made to measure as well. And they're so much fun and they're super unique. So check out my website, Etsy or Ralvary, in the description of this video. So I think it turned out really cool. Like I got the half and half thing going on. I think it looks like really, really awesome. And the beanie is half and half too. So I think it's gonna look so dope together. I might do like, um, switch it up. So the dark blues with the light blue and vice versa. I'll just show y'all in a second. <laughs> So as you can see, I kind of did light blue on one side and then the pom-pom, it corresponded on the other side. I think it turned out so cute. I'm going to update the beanie counter later because now we are on to our next hat. It's going to be a really pretty pink one. Check that out. So I'm sewing in, in, in oh my gosh, I'm sewing in ends right now. And also check out my hagua. Mm -hmm. Yep, gorgeous. Fall Priscart henna. Anyway, um... I always say like, okay, yeah, I'll sew in my ends, you know, as I go next time. Yeah, no, I'm like, I've already done quite a few and I still have so many left to do. Could do the magic knot, chose not to. Um, just so many ends. It is what it is. Y'all understand the struggle. Let me know in the comments if you sew in your ends as you go or if you wait to the end. I'm a back and forth. I do both. There's no consistency for me there, but... It's definitely better to do it as you go. Like, I could crochet over them, but I feel more secure kind of, like, sewing them back and forth. That's just my personal preference. But, yeah. Thus is the crochet struggle for life. <laughs> so, I have finished the beanie portion, and I have created a little pom-pom that I'm going to attach to it. I think to add a little white would be a cute little addition to the hat. So, yeah, let's go ahead and connect this. So now we have beanie five and we'll update that beanie counter. I love how this one turned out. And we have beanie six, the pink one. Sorry, ignore all the mess. We're going through a lot of moving stuff right now. So now we also have beanie six and I love these soft pinks. It's so cute to look at. Honestly, I really, really love pink. I feel like when I was younger, it's like, oh, I can't like pink. It's too girly. And I'm past that. And I love, love pink, especially like blush pink and colors like that. Ignore the stuttering. But yes, yeah, so we have these two beanies done. And we're on to the next ones, which I actually are already mostly done. But I did not show you guys yet. So here we go. So I did henna at an event. I do festivals and things. I do henna at them. And it was a slower event than usual, so for a lot of different reasons. So I was like, let's bring out this crochet and get some beanies done while I have nothing better to do. So you see me smile at people walking by, maybe saying hey, just kind of waiting for some henna clients to come through. But I did a little checkered kind of look with the white and red. You can see a little bit at the bottom of the screen. I definitely show you guys it a little bit better after this video is over. But yeah, so the red one was a lot of fun to work on, trying new things, but yeah, the event was a bit slow, but perfect time to crochet in the outdoors. So here's the checkered part I was talking about. I think it turned out so cute. I might make it more square next time, but also here is a pom-pom I'm going to create for it. 
so we just finished this beanie. I think we're on beanie seven. I think so. We'll double check with the beanie counter wherever it said it's on. But I love this beanie so much. Love how it turned out. The little checkered part is super cute. If y'all want a little tutorial of, of it, let me know in the comments. I can do one up real quick. It's kind of like a mosaic crochet kind of, like tapestry crochet kind of technique. It's really simple, but I can probably show you how to do it. Love the little um, white and red um, pom-pom. You know, I love my pom-poms, y'all. My sister is also so excited to see all of them. She's not on social media, so she's not going to see any of these videos or any of the little shorts I've made. So I'm like, it's going to be awesome Christmas present for all of her co-workers. I cannot wait. And I've really been enjoying making these. So let me know in the comments um, if you're making your own beanies, what colors you're doing, if you follow my pattern I put on YouTube the other day. Yeah, so many questions. Just, just comment below. For the algorithm, just comment below. Just comment. I don't care if it's hey. <laughs> just for the algorithm. But anyway... On to the next beanie. Let's get into it. So my next beanie is going to be yellow. And I was going to use these colors. But then I decided to use two more softer. A pale yellow. Like another like normal kind of yellow. Instead of making it so bright and contrasty. Like I usually do. So have a nice soft yellow beanie. But in between that. Me and David went to his sister's wedding. Which was so much fun. Lots of dancing. recording. Sorry for all that chaos. Back to some relaxedness. It's a word. Look in the dictionary. Um, I'm working on my yellow beanie again. I put it down for way too long. As you could see, there was a lot going on, but it was nice to just sit on the balcony and crochet for a while. Just kidding. We're done. So on my first cruise, we went to Mexico, and if you've cruised before, let me know how your experience was, what ship you went on, and if you would do it again. Right now, I'm unsure, but we had so much fun. Had my little Starbucks out there, my coffee, got coffee every day, um, you know, was enjoying the... Okay, also, honestly, it was like really, really, really cloudy the whole time. All of our excursions got canceled, but we got a new one. We had a great time anyway, but that's Caribbean life for you. And I wore some crochet too, of course, my Summer Breeze top, and that pattern and video is now released. Also, this cute little colorful crochet top and short set. Um, so I'm pretty sure I just broke one of my darning needles. I'm trying to pull the yarn through the um, stitches and it was obviously too tight, so, um, oops, I guess. <laughs> so, this might, <clears throat> oh my goodness, this might be my favorite pom-pom so far with this hat. I like how it's just kind of like spots of color. We have the white, the yellow, the white again. I love how it's like a nice, I don't know, it's just super cute and I like it. And this hat is complete. I think, honestly, one of my favorite colors is yellow, so I'm kind of biased towards this hat, not going to lie. But yes, um, on to the next one. Okay, so I just finished another beanie. This is an orange one. I'm going to call it Orange Sherbert because I love Sherbert. And it's like the little orange and kind of creepy. Or maybe like a dream circle. Should I call it like dream sickle or orange sickle? Let me know in the comments what I should call this orange beanie. I love it. I did like a nice, simple kind of off-white pom-pom for this. It's different color than this. But I think it kind of goes really, really well with it. Kind of like a soft white. Once again, mainly soft colors. Like, what's really happening? Not going crazy right now, which is kind of interesting. Anyway, this one's done, and I'm really, really happy with it. Do I have any more to do? I don't know. Let's find out.
right, so purple beanie number one is done. I have one more beanie left until we're done, guys. This is kind of kind of crazy to say. Not that, not, that we'll be, not that I won't be making more beanies later because I have some more ideas and stuff, but for my sister, this is the second to last beanie I'm making. I definitely ran out of purple, but I'm loving how you can have either more beige, you want to have more beige in the front, or have more purple in the front. It's up to you, but look at that change of purples and the beige in there is really, really pretty. Nice little fluffy pom-pom. And yeah, we're on to the last purple beanie and we're gonna use two purples and a black. So different than all of the lighter beanies I've been making. So my husband gave me the idea for that and I'm super excited. Let's get into it. So I made a really unique looking pom-pom for my last hat. It's kinda, you know, once again, got rid of some scrap yarn, like the rest of the colors of this beanie. It's all in here and some black and a little bit of a different purple and it looks really, really cool. I'm really enjoying finding different ways to make these pom-poms. So definitely experiment with like wrapping the colors differently and just switching it up, doing one side with one color, and another color. Let's just like, just play around, have fun because making pom-poms is so satisfying. So we are really getting some place guys. I'm putting my tags on all of my beanies. Um, I'm loving it. I love my tags so much. I was like, I gotta do it. So gotta put it on this one and then they should all be done except for the ones I made for myself. I probably put them on there too, but huh, it's so satisfying to put the tags on. I have a bunch left. Probably will order some more in bulk for later because why not, but yes. All the tags guys definitely get some if you have crochet items that you sell I think it's awesome because people always say oh hey you know I got it off of Etsy and it's like no you got it from a handmade person you don't know the name of because Etsy takes all the credit so definitely put your tag or if you send off crochet put your, your business card in it or something people know it's from you not Etsy if that makes sense I think it's 100% worth it so thank you guys so much for crocheting with me and as I made all of these beanies they have honestly brought me so much joy and I have another video for you guys to watch next so make sure you subscribe if you want to see more content from me and have an awesome day my crochet kings and queens.